Hey guys, so this is bringing you a, another video. Now this video is something a little bit different. We've done them before. It's basically a profile review. And the reason why I'm doing it is if you haven't heard or you, you know, it'd be probably quite hard not to hear. Uh, I did get master. So we did it. The climb to master series has been technically complete. Um, and I thought, you know, you would have probably seen it earlier today as game five. It was a bit of a stressful promo series, to be honest, but before I play any more later today that I'm going to be recording more rank right now, like literally in about 10, 15 minutes, um, I thought I'd do a profile review because that's this game's, you know, the match history up to this point. So we got there. Um, so Master on EU West, obviously we just got in, so it's one LP. Um, you get to one LP as soon as you get promoted. You don't get any, you know, more above that. Um, we did it in... 374 games. I played three games of flex. So 374 games with a 54.5% win rate. I played 69 games of Anivia. 31 of Ari. 20 on Zera. 16, 16, 15, 14, 14. Uh, total amount of champions played. Also, it's a decent amount. You know, it's a, well, probably, if I had to give a rough figure, probably about 50 maybe champions or so. So I just thought we'd kind of go over it say what I'm happy about, say what I still need to definitely improve on as a player, um, and give any little pointers here or there. Uh, it obviously, you know, the elephant in the room for some people might also be uh, the Anivia rank. So my Anivia rank did update. Uh, if you did, uh, if you missed that, I actually included it in the editing of game five, because I said at the end, people were like, where's your Anivia rank going to be? So we are currently sitting at rank seven in the world uh, and rank one on EU West. I'm statistically the best Anivia player on EUS. I will say, I don't take these ranks, like, completely serious. Uh, it is, you know, just to be said, some people probably do. I don't, like, they're nice, and it's pretty cool to say I'm the best EUS Anivia, but there are better Anivia players than me. Like, the challenger people that play Anivia occasionally are probably better than my Anivia. Froggen, I think Froggen right now, if we actually went into the world rankings, Froggen is... He's on NA, so I guess he, if technically for, he doesn't count for EU West anymore. But he's ranked 21 world. I'm ranked 7 world. I'm not better than Froggen's Anivia. So, like, I'm aware that it's not perfect, but, you know, I'll take it. It is pretty cool to say that I've had the official rank of it, kind of. So, things I'm happy about, obviously, is achieving the rank. Uh, achieving the rank, I knew we were going to get it this season. Uh, this was the first season since honestly season nine that I fully try harded um, and a lot of that was to do with the pandemic my mental was just not in the place that I could really try hard in a video game I know that sounds bad it might sound like an excuse to people but I know in myself that's true and the first season that I know mentally I'm going to start try harding again I am get back to master so for me that was kind of like a really nice thing of like hey I did it um, because I think season 10 is obviously when the pandemic's first kind of beginning uh, season 11 was like peak, you know, the whole season practically. And obviously we're still living with it in season 12, but the world has kind of adjusted to it. Uh, you know, I've got, I, you know, I had COVID at one stage too. So I've kind of mentally got over that hurdle a bit of dealing with all of that. And I'm sure some of you probably have as well. Um, I know some people during the pandemic actually did the opposite to what I did. I went more casual and less try hard. I know some people went more try hard because they could kind of distract themselves what was going on in the world i just mentally you know we're all different i just couldn't do that so things i'm also happy with um so some people might say like do i feel my you know as a player i've always been i don't like one tricking or anything like that well clearly i'm not a one trick obviously um you know we've played as i've said 374 games of and um sorry ranked and 69 of those are anivia so what that's roughly 20 percent yeah, my quick math, that's roughly 20%. That's not too bad. Uh, that's nowhere near one trick ratio. Um, honestly, that's kind of, it's not, it's borderline main ratio, to be honest. Uh, the, the, the big thing is, because like normally if you had 69 games of one champion, you know, my RE, a lot of people would have like 40 or 50 games of RE. It's the fact that I still play quite a lot of champions or, you know, my top, I think there's this top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine champions, 14, and then every other champion I've played has got less than 14 games. So it's just a lot of different champions, which I still will do to this day. It's just what I do. 
Um, you know, we're always picking up new champions. You know, Swain has not made it into my list here yet, but I'm starting to play a lot of Swain, for example. So this list will change. I do potentially see Anivia being my most played this season. I don't see that changing. I'm honestly, the biggest thing for me is I enjoy the champion. And that's fundamentally what I've always said to people, whether you want one trick or you're the main or you want to play every a, a different champion every single game. Fundamentally, you need to enjoy League of Legends. That is as simple as that. And for whatever reason, this year, I've always enjoyed Anivia. I've played Anivia for years, but for some reason this year, it's just clicked and I just love playing the champion. I'm still getting occasionally burnt out with the champion. You know, we did the, the master promo that we played. All wins of master promo was on Anivia. But then if you look through the match history, Anivia be, is a bit scarce, like here or there. You know, that's that's a nearly a week break of playing on the account. But, you know, it's not every game. It's not a lot of the time together. It's quite scarce that I play Anivia. It's because, if I'm completely honest, I got a little bit burnt out of the champion. Um, and I'm sure that'll happen. I'm sure I'll go through phases of playing a lot of it, and I'm sure I'll go through phases of playing no Anivia. But I will say I am going to potentially start making a guide to the champion. And uh, now that we've hit Master and we've hit these kind of ranks, so hopefully there's a bit of credibility to what I'm saying for a guide. Um, undecided if I want to just do a video guide or do I want to like potentially do one of those like mobifier guides like the written versions that has a video attached to it i'm i'm undecided at the moment it's probably knowing me just gonna be a video guide that's what i know i used to do them years ago so i'll probably just do that but um no pretty happy it is worth knowing like again zareth 20 games played 70 percent win rate so we do have these occasional outlier champions that are still poking through haven't played any kale since the new patch probably need to um viga doing okay my victor although i like playing the champion we uh, we were spamming arguably more Victor right at the beginning of the season than Anivia, and it just wasn't going well. Our KD's fine, we just couldn't get wins, so I stopped playing that champion. It's that simple. Um, but no, very happy. Obviously, strength says uh, getting to master, and like what I like to always kind of show as well, you don't need to be a perfect player. I am far from a perfect player. You know, it is to me hilarious that any content creator of any rank ranking is always going to get potentially a bit flamed that's just standard but you'll get flamed by people who are in silver or gold saying you can't you know you're not very good or you can't farm obviously that's a big weakness of mine but you i can still hit master so like your weaknesses you should be aware of them but they're not going to fully hold you back you know depending i will say the weakness my weakness 100 percent is farm um that is my biggest you know it's something that i've worked on i have got better at it this season but it's still a weakness no doubt um but you know my what i would say is where my weakness is i do have also strengths my strengths are i very rarely lose lane i'll either win lane or go neutral and that's actually quite a good thing um even if you get ganked etc if you can go neutral that's not bad um my decision making i'd say is pretty strong um that is probably where my strength is of like when to do things and why obviously it is goes without saying i'm not a massive roaming mid laner i just don't like the roaming play style i play mid because i want to play mid I, if i wanted to roam around i'd play jungle you know that's my mentality to it so i like staying in mid and that is a decision that to me isn't a weakness that i don't roam a lot that is a decision that i'm making that i don't want to roam because i want to be in mid lane but obviously in modern day league roaming is a decent part of the game whether you like it or not i guess so yeah that's pretty good um obviously is a role breakdown just to say so we played 236 games of mid lane with a 55.5 percent win rate we played 100 games of support with a 53 percent win rate we played 36 top games believe it or not you know even though i don't feel like i played a lot of top lane this season which again i haven't um dead even percent win rate and the reason why because some people are like has i miss your top lane it was the meta that drove me away it was the hole breaker meta that every game people buying hole breaker and the whole split push thing i don't like split pushing people know that and that is fundamentally what a lot of top lane has become is which top laner out split pushes the other that is so boring to me i play league of legends for pvp i do not play it for pve like, I don't care about just farming towers on a side lane. That is so boring to me. And I don't find it very skillful. I like team fights and grouping and pick people. Like, that's what I enjoy. And that just isn't exactly what top lane is right now. So that's why I stopped playing top. 
And then, yeah, we played eight, two games of AD carry, and we have won both of them. So you'll notice I've not played a single game of jungle, uh, which is surprising. I haven't even been auto-filled there. Um, but, yeah, I, again, just don't enjoy jungle. You know, don't play something if you don't enjoy it. Um, and I don't enjoy jungle right now, so I'm not going to play it. Uh, as for KD8, so KD8, not too bad. So average just a bit more kills than um, deaths, but very high assists, which I would say goes standard to my playstyle. Um, you know, I'm not that mid laner even that will go 10 and 1 on average. You know, yes, there are the occasional games. There's one right there that I go 8 and 1. But on average, I would go like 5 kills, 5 deaths, but nine assists that's pretty common but i'll make the decisions or i'll help make the decisions to win games and that is fine that is the strength that i do every player is different you've got to find what works for you what works for your climb for some people it will be going 12 and 1 on riven in every every game on solo queue or nearly every game well it's going 12 and 1 in in top lane on riven or going 0 and 12. There, there's a lot of those type of players there's some players like me that goes more neutral but then thrives on decision making to climb. Um, there's players like the boss. Let's give him as the example of that. The average game he is feeding, but he has his strategy that is crazy strong of just winning the game through towers and wave management. And you can't stop me eventually. There's so many different strategies of how you can climb and you just need to find what works for you. And if we go into patterns to end up this video, basically, just to kind of start comparing myself to now our new rank because we did this a few maybe a two months ago a month ago when we were comparing ourselves it at the time obviously would have been to diamond eu west players well now let's see if anything's changed so my win rates on blue and red side are both positive but my red red side win rate is way stronger so that's interesting i surrender a lot less on average so i that that 100 percent has gone up people surrender more in master than diamond i, I vaguely remember it was like 20 or 22 percent was the surrender percentage in diamond it's now 27 percent of games in master are surrendered i only surrender 12.7 so less than half i surrender compared to an average uh, player in master my win rate after a victory is slightly negative so usually I go win loss win loss I guess but my win rate after a defeat I will usually then win the, the next game so again that's kind of the ping pong effect uh win rate after if I go on a hot streak so that's three wins in a row I will then usually lose the fourth so by percentages but if I lose three games in a row that's a cold streak I will then percentage wise just normally win the next one my win rate, if I'm two kills ahead at 10 minutes, so if I'm two kills ahead, and I believe this is if I'm two kills ahead of my lane opponent at 10 minutes, my win rate is 85.7%. The average master player wins 61.6%, so they're both positive, but that does show if I get an early lead, I really use that lead. And then if I'm behind on kills, so again, can happen, my mid lane opponent goes roams double kills in bot lane, they're now two kills ahead. Well, again, that's pretty positive, isn't it? So if I'm down two kills on my lane opponent, I'm still winning 66.7% of games, where the average master player is only winning 37.7. So that's actually kind of crazy stats. So that's pretty damn good. Um, obviously, we've got all these different graphs as well that show a little bits here on there. Um, but if we go... Oh, wait, my, my world rank, everybody, during this video has just been updated. We are now ranked six in the world. I didn't do anything. It just means one of the other Anivias must have... Um, lost a game or something um so let's finally because again the nivia is the key champion i guess at the moment for me um we have gained this season 325 lp from a nivia alone and um, which i will say for that kind of win rate at uh, roughly a 70 percent win rate isn't insane think about it that's 325 lp and i've played a nivia since the beginning of the season so going from placements all the way to master i've used a nivia so only 325 lp it's good, obviously, but it's, I don't know, like, I, I kind of expected more. What's my Ari? Ari, only 35. What about Zerath? Because Zerath's got a 70% win rate. 129. Damn, okay. This is, it's less than you think. Obviously, climbing a League of Legends is actually a little bit harsh, obviously. So, what are we going? So, the average Master Olivia. So... What am I better at? Um, I should be better at most things. So my kill participation looks to be slightly less than the average Master of Nivea by this line. But again, that's probably because I don't roam as much because I don't want to. 
My kills assists, though, per minute are way higher. So that's a weird contradiction there. Um, creeps per minute is about the same. Gold per minute, maybe I'm slightly better. And damage dealt per minute is about the same. So it's all kind of what it is. Um, to be honest, a lot of these stats, weirdly, average and master Anivia, let's be honest, a lot of them are also going to be based on my stats too, because now I'm in that group, which is odd. Uh, good Baron usage, good good duelist. So yeah, that's this player wins most of their duels on Anivia. 72% of duels I win. I'm on a hot streak with Anivia. I've won my far, past five games of the champion. My KDA on the, on the champion, I get more kills than I do averagely. I die less, but I get less assists. So that's something to be said. Um, anything worth mentioning here? Solo deaths, 40% of my deaths are solo. So 60% of my deaths are, are not solo. Um, oh, here's a big one. That, that's a pretty good stat to look at there. Um, minion advantage. The average master Anivia player gains an advantage as the game goes on. I lose an advantage. Not by much. Again, we're down 15 creeps instead of being four creeps ahead. But still. Um, it is worth always looking at this type of thing, obviously. Level first item. When you normally get your first item. But again, these are really hard to like judge because it depends like your play style. It depends like I sometimes can be a bit of a goblin that like I'll hold a bit too much early gold, for example, and that that's delaying my first item. Or I'll buy a corrupting potion a tier where some people will completely skip a corrupting potion, for example. Anything worth knowing here? So Ari is my most played against. Then Viga, Victor, Zed. Who's my worst champion? Versus... Twisted Fate, I've played two, lost two. It'll be that then, I guess. Yeah, because the other ones, I've only lost one. Interesting. But that is going to be it. Little random video, everybody, of just kind of looking throughout the profile, seeing if we can point anything out. And um, it's it's a big message for me just to say is you don't need to be a perfect player. You know, main something if you want to. You don't have to. Um, yeah, main something if you want to. Uh, don't main something, play a lot of champions. Just all I would say is just know what you're doing on the champions you're playing. Know the build, know the matchups as much as you can. Um, and you, you'll, you again, also find a way to climb. Find what works for you. Not every single player can play the exact same way. You might like a content creator that goes 12 and 1 on Riven, just again, random example, but you might not do that. You might not be good at doing that. Find the style that works for you. But that is going to be it. Just a little profile review video just of myself, just to kind of go, hey, we did it. This is the profile upon reaching master. Um, I kind of wanted to do this video also for me in the future that I can come back on and kind of look around the profile. So um, yeah, it also hilariously that we just got rank six Anivia for basically doing nothing. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.